And to the corridors of power, President William Ruto now says he gave in to withdrawing the finance bill 2024 because the people of Kenya say they did not want it. Speaking during the launch of Kenya's Open Government Partnership, Ruto said the finance bill was mad with falsehood and propaganda, denying, denying what their there was a section on increasing land rates on rent. He also opposed that there were tax rates making it difficult for cancer patients. He added that in the same bill, there were interventions that would create more job opportunities. The finance bill became a, a victim of fake news, disinformation, misinformation, and unfortunately that's what, what it is. And as has been said here correctly, while building the ecosystem to leverage on technology and the digital space for advancement, there will be challenges. It is the reason why we are discussing now with Parliament on how to enact um, regulations on AI, regulations around the digital space to make sure that the negative misinformation, disinformation, fake news, does not rob us of the opportunity to use technology to drive our development. Because I am a great believer that technology gives us the largest opportunity for us to catch up with the rest of the world. It is the reason why I appointed a technology envoy.